Hey beauties, welcome back to Beauty Squirrel. So today I'm bringing you episode 10 of my eBay hauls. I know I haven't done one in a long time, so this is definitely overdue. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So most of the things I'm gonna be showing you guys today are things that I've really tested out. I've had it for maybe over a year, most of this stuff. So let's just go ahead. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys five items and I'm gonna rate it one through five and yeah and that's how I do my eBay hauls if you haven't watched any of my videos yet I'll leave a list of my other eBay hauls right here so you can check that out after you finish this video so let's go ahead and just start so the first item I'm gonna show you is a Moschino phone case which looks like this and this is for I think this is for an iPhone 5 so this is very old because I'm on my seven right now. So yeah, this is just gonna be a cute little piece that I have on display because I don't have a phone for it. So that's one thing about phone cases. You don't wanna spend too much money because you're definitely gonna upgrade later on down the line and you can't use it anymore. But I love this phone case because it has a little strap to it. So you can rock it as a little purse. It'll be nice and cute. It has the little lens that comes in and out. As you can see there, really cute. And I got this for $30 on eBay. And they had it in different colors. I'm pretty sure they might have this in the seven right now or the six, whatever phone you have. I'm sure it comes in that size. Uh, I picked the purple color or maybe this is more like a fuchsia, fuchsia purpley color really liking it and like I said it was $30 most of the time Moschino phone cases cost around $95 that was a big discount $30 versus $95 I'm pretty sure this is a knockoff because most of the time it's not rubbery like this it's usually more sturdy because I do have a little Moschino collection of phone cases that are the real deal and they're much more sturdier than this so I'm pretty sure this is a knockoff uh, I had to get the knockoff of this because it wasn't on the website anymore. I was wanting it and I was dying for it. So I just went on ahead and purchased the knockoff. The inside looks like that. You stick your phone in there. Has a little hole for your uh, camera. And I'm loving this. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I'm really, really liking it. And I do love the little diamond on here. And it has Moschino there. And yeah, I love the details on it. So the next thing I want to show you are my ring holders and it looks like that. I got it in white because all of my display stuff are mostly white or acrylic. I thought this was very fitting. I love the way it displays my rings. And I purchased a lot of these different sizes and it just looks so cute in my collection. So I purchased two different sets. And the first set cost me $48.69, which I think was well worth it because it gives a nice display for your rings and your jewelry. Um, the second set cost me $59.63. So in all, I paid almost $100 for the complete little set that I have. And I love it. I don't regret it. I think it's great quality. It serves its purpose. I'm liking it. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Four out of five because... I wish I could have got it even cheaper. So. <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the foxtail that I picked up. And this cost me $9. And it looks like a real foxtail. I'm pretty sure it's not. But it got me, you know, wondering if it is. I'm pretty sure a foxtail wouldn't cost $10, $9. I'm sure it would cost a little more than that. Or am I wrong? What do you guys think? I'm thinking this is fake fur but you know and you can use this on your purses you can use it on your key ring you can connect it to your pants or whatever this serves a lot of purposes what i use it for is i put it on my purses i love it on my purses it gives a nice little extra accessory to the purse gives it more character so i'm loving this i'm gonna give this a five out of five because it was a great price it looks super duper real if it's not real um it's lightweight and they have different colors in them. Came really quickly, loving it. The next thing I wanna show you is the Scylla sponge that I picked up and this cost me eight bucks. And I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to get it off of eBay than the actual website because I'm thinking it's much more than $8 for this if I'm not mistaken. I will leave it over here somewhere, whatever the price I'm seeing. Um, but yeah, 
I did do like a demo of this, but I didn't post it. So if you guys want to see a full demo of me using this, let me know and I'll go ahead and edit that video and post it for you guys. But yeah, um, <laughs> I, I don't reach for this. So I would say it's definitely not worth $8 because to me it doesn't perform better than my brushes or my beauty blender. So I'm gonna have to give this um, a one out of five because I'm just not feeling it. You guys might like it, but I'm just not feeling it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one out of five. <laughs> so the last thing I wanna show you guys in this video is something that I've been loving so much. You guys know I'm a wannabe queen. I'm the queen of my own universe, so I had to get me a, a queen's chair. So I purchased this chair off of eBay for $1,000. It was actually $995. But yeah, $1,000 and it came really quickly. Um, I just love it. I love it. It's gold and red and it's just fitting. It's fitting for my room. I'm not quite sure where I want to put it because in my makeup room it doesn't really fit. So whenever I'm finished doing my studio downstairs, I'm going to probably put it in there. Uh, and I'm probably going to turn that red into pink because I love pink and I think it would look really cute being pink and gold. So. We'll see. If I do that, I'll do a whole little DIY video on that and we will see how that turns out. Uh, I think that chair is very worth it. It's heavy duty. It's definitely, you know, not cheaply made. Um, very sturdy. It's just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. I wish the price wasn't so high, so I'm going to have to give it um, a four out of five. I would give it a five out of five, but I'm going to have to give it a four out of five because the price is steep. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this eBay haul number 10. Let me know what your favorite item was. If you have any of these items that I spoke about today, let me know in the comment section below how you're liking it and all that good stuff. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I think that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Mwah. Bye bye.